Langford, Prime Minister, and I want to ask you specifically, you look at Singh's numbers. I mean, he's been a leader now for a couple of months. In the recent by-elections, they lost vote share in every single one of those ridings. If he saw these numbers, should he be worried right now? Well, how about not happy? There's probably a better way to describe it. You know, the thing is, is that the Prime Minister of the day always does well on this measure because whoever the Prime Minister is, is the Prime Minister. Uh, so, you you know, we have Justin Trudeau at 45, Sheer at 24, Jagmeet Singh at 8. Uh, you know, the numbers on the preferred Prime Minister front, depending on whether it's Mulcair or not, have been as high as 12% for the leader of the New Democrats and as low as 7. So he's near the 12-month low right now. Um, and, you know, he's just come off a couple by-elections. Uh, haven't been great for the NDP. There weren't high hopes of them winning anything. But the killer for the New Democrats in these by-elections, especially in British Columbia, is that their support went into the Liberal column and helped the Liberals do a bit of a smash and grab from the Conservatives. Mm -hmm. You know, the Conservative support in that BC riding was fairly static. I think there was only a one and a half point change. But the Liberals were up six points. The NDP were down five or six points. And... Uh, you know, I think for Jagmeet Singh, he's not looking over his shoulder, but he's, he's got to keep an eye on the Liberals because they're so progressive. You mm -hmm. know, they're basically, can we say it, kind of like the NDP, orangey-red. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. uh, so that's the split that's helping the Liberals right now. Lots uh, to work for for them in, uh, in 2018. Nick Nano, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. Thank you.